Hello everyone, it's Rizdub, and today I'm going to play through a newly released game, the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I've played through the original version of the game a number of times, and I'm excited to see what's new in this version, as well as what's not. So let's just jump into it. Okay, no, I'm not gonna skip. Stanley worked for a company in a big oh. building where he was employee number 427. Okay, that is employee terrible frame rate. There we go. Job was I don't know what that was, but... Desk in room 427, and he okay, there is a severe the issue with the frame rate here. Desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. So the video is... I wonder what that text says. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Okay, so the introductory cutscene was, like, really... One day, something very really choppy at first. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. I wonder if this was re-rendered for the new version, or if this is just reused from the original version of the game. Hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Indeed. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay. I'm gonna go this way. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, hold that thought. This is really uh, choppy here. Adjust the settings, mouse sensitivity. Okay. How does that feel? Ah, that's a little bit better. Okay. So apparently this game was completely remade in Unity. They remade this game in Unity completely instead of Source. So that's interesting. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um, let's just uh go for the. Uh, what's the name of the ending where you follow all the orders? I don't have the names of the endings memorized. I'm just going to do this way and see if I notice anything. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling this box is too small. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Uh, get Chris out of broom closet? Did that say get Chris out of the broom closet? Uh, so much, so much to watch. Broom closet. I'll save that for later. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. Just checking, see if doors do anything. Executive bathroom. Because the boss knows that what the boss says goes. If the boss has suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. Doesn't seem like a very helpful business plan, but you do you, I guess. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled. Ooh, the books have Stanley higher resolutions. Who orchestrated this? That's nice. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping okay, is this the same key and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number two eight nope it's the same five but of course stanley couldn't possibly have known this nope okay Stanley, yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley Ooh. happened to input the correct code. Ooh, it got by dark. Sheer luck. Amazing. Ooh. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. 
Okay. Might have to try this on my laptop later, see if the video quality gets any better. Or the Maybe not the video quality, but the, uh, the uh, sensitivity and the frame rate and stuff, see if it's any better. Because it's a little bit choppy for me right now and a little bit hard to work with. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This Good question. would not go unanswered for long. Ooh, got sparks. Okay. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Escape. Save the escape for later. Ooh, it's dark in here. Let's get some light. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Mayhaps. Let us discover. Even though I've played this game and I know exactly what the thing is. Oh, there's the there's another catwalk up there. I can't imagine what that would be. I hate Mondays. It's just an I hate Mondays. Uh, there's a the button. Now the monitors jump to life. Their Observation protocol. Each Wonder what that says. Of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. I'll have to check the it lives out. of so many individuals reduced to images on a Those screen. Those look like. And Stanley, one of them. Looks like there's some more. In this place where freedom meant nothing. There's some new um, pictures in here. Which is the employee that constantly needs peer review? Is it 432? I think it's 432 peer review. Because that guy's a little wacko. What is that? 234 is, well, 234 is out of whack. 104 is fired, 601 is fired, and 234 is not. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Is he still under controls now? It depends on how you question the nature of reality. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? I love the narrator's voice. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Aha. Uh -huh. proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And it's as the, the cold button? reality of his past began to sink in. I wonder if the eight buttons around here somewhere. This machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Console disabled. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. All right. So, so far I haven't noticed anything new. Maybe I just need to go out of my way. Nothing is obviously new yet. There's papers all over the floor. System power. It's already off, but... All right. So this is, I think it's called the freedom ending, actually. I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not. Whisper noises. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself Ooh. from someone else's command. Freedom was vibrating a bit there. Away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. 
Yes. Where had his co-workers gone? I don't know. Perhaps a How different ending will explain it. From the machine's grasp. Who knows? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? Well, let's find but out. As sunlight streamed into the chamber. He realized none of this mattered to him. Well, it matters to me. It was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. Well, then you should completely surrender no your control to my. Tell him where to go, what to do. Or how to feel. <laughs> Whatever life he lives, it will be his. At least until you reset the, the game, of course. To know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. All right. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. I wonder what the Feeling building looks like from the outside, honestly. Because we never see. He never turns back. Before him. Maybe one, exactly maybe some other ending will show right something now, new. The things were meant to happen, and Stanley was happy. Nice. All right, which which ending should we go for next? Beat the game and get your first achievement. <laughs> ah, this game. Okay. Um. Let's see. I think now I'm gonna just go around the office and clicking on stuff. I think the four, click on door 435 times achievement is still in there, so I'm going to go ahead and do that after I look around the office and see if I can notice anything else. Okay. 428. Nothing. 429. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. What does that say? I like work. I just hate my boss. <laughs> uh, 437. What is the numbering scheme of this office? Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? I mean, I might as well. The door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. I mean, you gave an achievement for give me another, <laughs> for giving me I another achievement. If you were to click the door 20 times, I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. I can click faster now, I noticed. Or maybe it's just it recognizes. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly. 50 clicks. Maybe it's just recognizing Unity as like a different sound um, recognition thing, and so it can play the sound more frequently. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. I wonder what those say. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Oh, it's this, that's that copy pasta of the, <laughs> the copy machine. It's like its quest for knowledge. 417, did he say? I think he said 417. Did he say 417? Oh, great. Yeah, okay. Now, go click a few times on door 437. 437. 437, that was back around this way. 437. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. 415. I literally cannot remember where that is. 456, 4 something or other, 425, 4, 416, 415, there we are. Now, back to door number 437. Okay, it almost looked like 417 and 415 shared the same space for a second, but no, there's a little bit of a... There's a little bit of a gap. Let's see, how about you click on, well, I don't know... The copy machine. Copy machine. This one that's... All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Okay, 417. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. 419. Where's 419? Oh. Ugh, that's just insane. I don't know how to do that. Oh. 
I need to get on the box, I think. Yes! There we this go. This is okay. great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. 416. Which one is that? 417. 416. There we are. We've almost got it. <laughs> now the copy machine. Do that one again. <laughs> uh, this. Love listening to this guy's funny. Okay. Finish it off, Stanley. Five clicks on door four, three, zero. Two, three, four, five. Yes! We did it! Oh, wow. Nice. That felt amazing. <laughs> oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? <sighs> Clever. Okay. Wonder. Uh, there's some doors around here. Just going through all the doors, seeing if I can awaiting input. I'll do that one later. That's the um, heaven ending, I think, is or the buttons. What is it called? I don't know. Okay. Okay, so I can close. Can I open it back up? Yes, I can. Are there any doors that'll open? What does that say? Sales in this quarter. So this is a company that sells stuff. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his. I go to the right this time. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Anything Perhaps over he here wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I wonder if... No, okay. 448. 440, whatever number this is. I don't think this is a meeting room. This, it's just 449, 450. 450 is empty. They're all empty. You want to know why I said that? Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. So I guess I can't do anything for the drinks machine. I was kind of expecting there to be something for the drinks machine for some reason. Coffee cups? Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. I wonder if there's a secret door somewhere. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Hmm. Should I or shouldn't I? I won't. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's Ooh, this looks nice. Five years ago. I like the way this looks. Do not jump. Cargo will lift, will cause death. Vent access for trained employees only. Climb at your own risk. There's a climbing thing. Vent access. Or is that just decoration? Hum. These boxes are too big to crouch on to. There's a chair. Nope. But in his eagerness yep. to prove that he Nothing is in control there. of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley left from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. All right. Um All of his co-workers will keep gone. going. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Left to right. When Stanley Let's came to, to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Papers. I'm just looking to see if there's any new secrets. Yet there was not a single person here either. 
Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Monetize free. Did that say monetize free to play? Oh, okay then. All right, fine, be that way. Ugh. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. I'm not going to do that bit right now, I just want to look around. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Now let's go down. Nope, nothing doing. Fire hose. Okay. No. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, right. admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. I mean, it's hard his to boss would prove it otherwise. Crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. I wonder how Unity handles all of the... And as Stanley pondered this, he began the, um, to other strange observations. Room teleportation stuff, like, Why that the source did. Why could he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip Okay, so funny story about this bit. Found the words for it. I'm dreaming! This part of the this game actually kind of did appear to me in a dream at one point. Felt to Except in the, in the dream, an explanation. His it ended, the dream ended a little bit differently than the game. I'll come to it as soon as this is done. He wasn't crazy after all. Thought to himself, I suppose How did this car even get in here? I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So seriously, how did that car get in here? Flying, oh wait, there's a gently float above the there's ground. A thing right here. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so <sighs> much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? Okay. And then perhaps the strangest question of them all... I love how every every ending of this game makes you question something different about either the nature of games or reality. Is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Coffee nut? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. And who wouldn't? I'm dreaming about Number one, what does that say? Describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Does that say who farted? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? I think that Believing said that who farted. he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was, in fact, a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself, too. Surely, surely, if he could just... Hold on a second. He would prove it. He would prove that he was in okay. control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. Had to adjust the cords. The they were on his back. getting in my way. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. I can only imagine what lucid Let dreaming would actually be like. Job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. 
and here we go. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. auditory sensory I am real. sensory hell Please right here. Just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Okay, so story time. Sort of. So in my dream, the actual reason Stanley ran out of the building was because it had somehow caught fire. Although the surrounding city blocks were repeating. Like, you could look around and see the same building block like three times. The, every, every city block was exactly the same, and so they were all just repeating. It was comforting to think this. And, and yeah, this man made her I want to say there was also a plane crash involved at some point, and that actually did wake me up because it crashed into a field, sprayed dirt all over the place, including into my face, and then I woke up. So there was a little bit of difference, but honestly, it's now that I think about it, there's not a whole lot in it that could that could have. There's not a whole lot of it that could be super different from how this game happens. Because the repeating city blocks do kind of have a... All of his co-workers were gone. Have a repeating... Stanley decided to go to the meeting so, so far I haven't noticed anything new, or any places for anything new. I'm not sure how... Yep, there's another who farted mug. Uh, so it doesn't... I hate Mondays, it's not Monday, it's Wednesday as I'm recording this. Wednesday 427. Yep, I'm re I bought this game immediately and decided to play it. I was going to do another thing, but it didn't. Oh, new content. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? You tell me, narrator. You're the one who opened the door for me here. Okay, so we got a lift. There's another door. <laughs> New content. That was rather overt. Whew. Whew. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Nice. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please. Step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. <laughs> so this game just... <laughs> I did not expect the game to just go out and break its own fourth wall like that. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. It's not going to be mesmerizing, I can already tell. It's not going. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. This is going to be the only new content in the game, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's <laughs> as if them. Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. New content, right. the jump circle. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. 
Aha. This game. There was an achievement in the first one that said you can't jump. I was occasionally pressing this spacebar, checking to see if I can, if I couldn't get the achievement, but... Where does that board connect to? Oh. And yeah, now I get the <laughs> you can't jump achievement, clever. Is, is that it? I hope not. Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? <sighs> I literally don't know if I would appreciate it if that was the the only thing new or if it wasn't. I legitimately don't know whether I, which I, whether I would like it better if it was. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's this is just your game. And jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is the Stanley parable, I mean... Then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Bottomless pit. Thank you for enjoying the new content. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And cheap? Get me rush? The level of craftsmanship that's what about this was cheap? This was advertised in 2019. Power, achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore... It does, it does, it literally does. Department signed off on this. I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. Oh, dear. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Okay, so if he's deliberately resetting this, is this going to be another confusion ending sort of thing? Where everything is different? Yep. Mr. Narrator? Are you there? It's a portrait of the original office. Come over here, in the vent. I want to show you something. What is this way? Oh, you don't want to see the cool surprise I made? No, I'll... Well, fine. You're a... No, oh, never mind. You're not a dork. Oh, I'm a dork, but not for this reason. Coffee nut. Oh. Okay. Oof. Okay. So something else is there. I wonder what would, have, what would have happened if I went through the other way. Would I have just gone back to the regular thing, or is there another ending? Knowing the Stanley Parable developers, there's probably another completely different ending that way. But whatever. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past, and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special, and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. Well, I will as soon as this place... Ah, I remember seeing this place in the trailer. Ooh. Oh, that... Feels like the, uh... I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. And I feel like this could easily backfire because there are a lot of places that probably you wouldn't want to relive. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind memory, you of how memory. wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? 
Remember back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched? Back then, video <laughs> games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. Did it though? Ah, some did. Ultra-conserved words. <laughs> uh, that's a Mozilla Firefox start page. Uh, trip down memory lane. It's a single dollar bill. The Stanley Parable demo, that was fun. Go outside. Unachievable. Oh, that one. I've never really bothered trying to work out that one. <laughs> Nominee. British Academy Award. Nominee, nominee, nominee. New video game releasing today. Um, business. This creator surprisingly down to earth. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's Dead Stanley. Stanley Purple deals tough choices. Yippity doo da. There's a bench. What's this? And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. Ah. It was literally every game ever created. It yes, I'm sure it was. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. <sighs> The original. What does that say? The tasteful nostalgic. It was good. Is that a portal? That's a portal up there. What's a portal doing up here? Memory zone maintenance. And this way is what? Person of the year. That's Stanley. Okay, so this is the hammer editor it looks like. The original remake? No, those are doors. I'm I'm gonna see what's down here first. You're not gonna do anything? Alright, fine, be that way. Alright. If you really wanna do that, then I guess I can't stop you. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games, and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices. So is this I've entire bit just the developers game. patting themselves on the back? Ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. Repeatable it just needed textures. to be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. A demo. Stanley Parable disc. There's uh, some boxes in the way. The serious room. Oh, I never got there. Okay, um. Hey, Mr. Narrator? I can't. Oh, that was from the, one of the game trailers where you could like do the that whole thing. Okay, I can't go into the series. Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley, but I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on, I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? It says it's maintenance. It's the drinks machine. Oh no, a 
God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. Wow, that's I what I'm playing on right now. Years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Wonder if that was was that a real review? Wonder if it, if was. How does that guy feel to have his the narrator bring him up? And if not, then they literally had to write a fake negative review for their own game. <laughs> honestly, with the developers of the, the way this game is developed, I can honestly see either way being accurate. So this is just a big open space, Steam reviews truck for some reason another non-recommended it's thundered okay another. okay so clearly I'm supposed to read this one okay let's see what this one says while the idea for the game is good for someone who prefers non-linear games this preachiness gets annoying fast preachy Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. Hmm. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did. But maybe it wasn't. Oh, dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. Yeah, I told you this was a bad idea. After my otherwise unimpeachable track record, I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Reviews, Perhaps reviews. the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Yeah, it's fun to me. Let's down here, another clearly review. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. Okay, that, I'm, I'm going to be honest, that skip did bother me just a little bit. A skip button. But just a little. Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. Ooh. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Okay. Fast forward. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you, with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for. That's no, what one player has been asking for. Have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people. And if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue. And it goes something like this. The story and the choices are what have you. And therefore, by becoming it is. So on and so forth. Until inevitably, we all until the end of time. I don't want to let you shut up because this is... So, now you see, blah, 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 blah. It isn't too much and it can't be just yet. No, no, until 245. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly 10,000 years, until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say... The story and the choices. Okay, so this is just going to get into a loop. By becoming it is. So on and so forth. Until inevitable. All right. We all, until now I know his monologue. At which time. 
Okay. Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. There's enough of that. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to... Is this going to be a thing where I just... say it was perhaps... <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say about this, and whether they'll edit... Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to go back and listen to all of this at some point later. That the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was... well, I want to say maybe... 30, 45 minutes? I'll have to listen to this it whole thing later on. Endurable by any means, but it's well. There's really only so much I can ramble on to myself. Stanley, 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 please don't push the button again. It's been twelve hours. Why are you talking You've to yourself for twelve hours? In there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. <laughs> oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, How I long has that been? I think it's been a week. A week? Or two weeks? I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been. Yeah, at some point later on I'm going to have to go back and listen to the whole monologue because these are going to be fun. That it's oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? No, but I've done that to my some of my. To begin with, there is only. I've done that to some of my possessions. Of <laughs> How long does this go? Wonder if this is just one of those things that just keeps on going up until you ma you um, manually reset it. Now sensitivity is a little bit awkward. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. Of course it was. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, Entertain us. How long does this go on? Like, legitimately. This could easily be one of those things where it just the end is never 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 the end That's not a door, is it? Oh, that's just a Oh, hello. Okay. So, how long has it been now? Am I going to wake up and I'll have been in cryogenic suspension for 50 years? Whew. And then a giant metal ball is going to show up and claim that everybody else is dead and you're going to try to help me escape to the surface? That's certainly what it looks like it's a gutting to. Over plant overgrow all over the place. Oh. Nope. It's back. Oh, it's uh That sounds ominous. Ah. I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. silent again. That 
that's even more ominous. Nope, I was wrong. Surely at this point we're skipping ahead like... Oh, okay. Buttons on the floor even. Everything is tilted. Aha. Dad gum. So what is this, the beach ending? The skip ending? There's a figure. I saw a figure just off to my distance. I can't push the button anymore, can I? Nope. Okay. So is this all it is now? It's just endless desert at the end of the world? Was that it? That was the skip ending? <laughs> Whew. So that one brought a little bit of existential horror to the mix. Alright, I'm going to cut the video off here. I kept playing for another half hour, but this video is long enough as it is, so I'll see you next time.